in the Spirit of Spooky Month, we have Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull Vodka. Oh boy, this is uh, going to be a good one, isn't it? All I'm going to say. Shy. You know, it took on a while. <laughs> What angle is he going for? Oh, God. It's back. You know, watching another person play video games is like going... It's the ghost of late night television. (laughs) There's no telling how long that thing's been dead. (laughs) Oh, oh God. Why have you come here, apparition? Is it to reclaim your lost relevance? I'm pumped to see Solo. Anybody else excited? (laughs) Oh, away, Spectre. (laughs) They gave you the trending tab. What more do you want? Oh, that's awful. was Prince Harry and... Fringe, if you will. Meghan Markle's wedding. Looks like I'm going to need to bring in the big guns this time around. All right. Who am I going to call? Uh, Ghostbuster reference. Uh, too aloof. Probably won't pick up. Ernie Hudson? I would, but I don't think he's forgiven me for farting in the pudding at his bar mitzvah. Harold Ramis? Definitely not going to pick up. <laughs> and that only leaves Dan Aykroyd. No, I, I, I can't call Dan. I can't. I've I've heard of Dan Aykroyd and alleged beliefs and stuff he has. This, this man's an absolute trip. There's got to be some other Ghostbusters I can call, right? Nope. Second thought, Dan will do. <laughs> the remake, yeah. <laughs> Dan, you've got to help me. Hurry up, and don't forget your proton pack. It... What? What? What did you say? Crystal Skull? The fuck are you talking about, Dan? Vodka? Repeat it again. Vodka. Vodka. Vodka right. chat. Screw it. See you soon. All right, ghost. I'm going out for a drink with Dan. See you when I see you. But if you're a video game player who likes... <laughs> <laughs> And while I'm gone, no ectoplasming. Oh, son of a bitch. (laughs) It's so stupid. I love it. See, seeing the new intro has always been weird because I'm so used to the old JonTron. Not that it's bad by any means. It's just interesting to showcase how long I've... Let's put it this way. I was watching JonTron when Normal Boots 1 was still a thing. Normal Boots 1... Like, Normal Boots' first time, it was a thing. I think we were on, like, three at some point. It, it's, uh... I've been around for a long time. It feels like I've watched civilizations rise and fall constantly around me. It's actually kind of insane. So, Dan Aykroyd has apparently retired from the comedy world to bring you none other than, you guessed it, Vodka! Crystal Head Vodka, to be specific. What? You may have actually seen this stuff at the liquor store before and just not have known it came from the Blues Brother turned distiller. Aykroyd? That's a weird name. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything. I just thought I'd mention. Actually, this vodka's <laughs> been out for quite some time, over a decade. It's uh, It's been going since 2008. Huh. This is the real stuff, okay? Just take it from the website. The Crystal Head bottle was designed with a pure spirit in mind. I uh, get, get it? Get it, chat? Pure spirit? Synonyms are funny. (laughs) Dan Aykroyd and John Alexander wanted to craft a vessel worthy of one of the world's purest vodkas. I'm going to be honest. I've heard Jack about this. I've heard... I've heard it's okay. I've heard it's it's an vodka. I really haven't heard anything stellar about it. A symbol of life. Reflecting power and enlightenment. Vodka's been a path to enlightenment? Did you not know this? I thought this was common. I thought I thought this is why everyone around me would just drank a lot. I thought that they just just, just gained wisdom from it. Or, is it, or wait, or is, or is that just depression? <laughs> Little dark, but I'll take it. <laughs> I've, I've clearly been drinking the wrong vodka. Yeah. Crystal Head contains no additives, no glycerol, citrus oils, or sugars. Glycerols. Thank God. What? Nothing is added to enhance or mask the taste. Oh boy, I've heard pure vodka is white the taste. Guys, I don't know if you've been around vodka much, but I'm not sure there's much you can do to mask the taste of it. All right, the flavor is somewhere between antiseptic (laughs) and poison. (laughs) Crystal Head Vodka would like to geolocate you. Do you consent? No. Listen, when you ask like that, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, no, I do not. Listen, most websites just ask you if they can know your. John and I same page. Just it's the way it's the way that they're saying it. Geolocate. I know it's thematic, but um, ugh, it's so Location, weird. Which creepy as it is, it's nowhere near as creepy as that. It no. doesn't imply that uh, an Area Fifty One space vessel is going to be sent to my location if I push yes. But anyways, uh, this vodka is very special, mainly because uh, Dan Aykroyd is one hundred percent but fucking sane. Loud does not equal funny. 
loud and fast equaling funny. <laughs> I feel like people look like, you know, Kip, sometimes you sound like kind of intelligent, but then you laugh at loud being funny. And I, I feel like there's just people out there that watch me that are just constant this, in this perpetual state of confusion. Like that. They're just like, how, how can you simultaneously come across as like somewhat intellectual, but also laugh at loud being funny. <laughs> but I'll let him do the talking for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to enjoy Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Head Vodka. I'm Dan Aykroyd. Since childhood, I have been fascinated with the invisible world. Uh -huh. A world which can help us get through life if we know how to draw upon its power. Uh -huh. A world serving positive projections, wherein you use your own personal, mental, and spiritual abilities to believe and subsequently make true the things that you want to have. Mate, have you heard of commas? Or periods. I'm not seeing any in here. And for yourself. Also healing, miracles, the presences of spirits and beings once living now gone into another life, but who continue to intrude into our waking consciousness, which supports... So you know when I make those stupid community posts where I'm like, I, I do run on sentences? Now I'm knowing how people reading my stupid community, community posts feel. <laughs> Now I know what it's like to try to read run-on sentences. Oh my god. The premise that ghosts, UFOs, and their occupants, plus other non-worldly presences okay, exist. Okay. Wasn't that one actually regarded as fake? Now I gotta stop you. You stifled me till now, but what is this? Did you bring in a 15 kilobyte JPEG, a clearly fake ghost from Google Images, for your national reveal trailer of your vodka? I thought that, I'm pretty sure I've seen that photo before. I think someone debunked it. That's what you're going to use? I'm, I'm just honestly shocked. There are plenty of photographic and audio materials, both conventional and digital, and also some trace physical evidence. Yes, indeed. Plenty of... Except even in the year 2023, when we're looking at things that are paranormal or extraterrestrial, everything looks like it's captured on a fucking 2008 Nokia phone. Like, mate... I, this this phone I have in my hand right here can apparently take pictures in like fucking 4K. Come on, man! You gotta gotta give us better than this fucking dog water images we keep getting. Give evidence. As you can see, we're using exhibit proof right here on the screen. All of the foregoing are actual elements in our existence. Over half of the world believes in such phenomena. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some citation there. Maybe a couple peer-reviewed studies you could throw my way. I mean, yeah, I, I'm gonna actually agree with John on this one. Like, there's a lot of believers, but there's also a lot of people that like you know, think this is all hogwash. I would like some sort of statistic cited. I mean, that would help me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know about half. I could, I mean, I don't know. I could see maybe over half depending on how do you, well, how do you even begin to like quantify that data? I'd be very interested to figure that out. Over half the world. What is that? Like 4.2 billion people. I don't, I don't Fuck, even think yeah, three of the is. people watching this uh, 240p video you put up believe in this phenomena, Dan. Bye. Then I remember that I was alive when the world only had 6 billion people in it. I've been around for a while. I've seen so much. I've seen so much. For instance, haunting people or places. They indicate a supra form of reality as valid supra. as our normal reality. Well, hold on, though. On second thought, that one is pretty compelling. Let me enhance the image. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Wow. I'm so lost. I'm actually lost on that one. I'm just, someone's gonna have to explain that. The supernatural's real after all. <laughs> We've had what? nothing to touch until now. This is an accurate glass rendering of a human skull. The first question that comes to mind that I want to ask is why? Designed by my friend. Don't worry about it. Dan Aykroyd wants a crystal skull. He'd go and get his crystal skull. I'm sure he's got enough money from royalties. Now an American portraitist and landscape painter, John Alexander. Who's most That's really cool. That guy sounds really sick. I, I still want to know why he made a skull, though, and why it's accurate, and also why that matters. It has been constructed to our demanding specifications after more than two years in development. <laughs> demanding <laughs> specifications? <laughs> It's, it's a fucking glass skull. Except I can actually, I can actually see this. I could actually see it requiring uh, specifications, especially from someone like Dan Aykroyd, who comes across as I would argue a little eccentric here, right? 
um, I could actually see, you know, revisions having to be made, having to make edits, um, you know, having prototypes up until that final product. I can actually kind of justify this one. Oh, boy. Well, I'm pretty sure you can get these at Walmart on Halloween. Don't worry about it. You charlatans dare call this a skull? My specifications were demanding, I tell you. Demanding. I don't recall asking for sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> we're sorry, Mr. Aykroyd. <laughs> But that's what your nano skull looks like. Aww. Silence. According to Bruni, no one has. What ever is this audio quality? Not audio. What is this video quality? It looks like it's like 240, 360. My brother in Christ, we had 720 in 2008, didn't we? We attempted to make a bottle of such quality and complexity as I hold in my hand. The obvious question is, why did we do why? this? Why? <laughs> yes, Dan, indeed you've done it. That is the question of the hour. John and I have always been avid researchers on the subject of the legendary 13 crystal heads, which have been unearthed at numerous locations and at various times on our planet. I honestly don't have a hat in this race. I've I've heard of the 13 crystal skulls, the one that found in the closet, right? I, I have no hat in this race on where they came from or even attempt to try and explain it. I really don't have any comment. Of course, I should have known. He's making this because he wanted to make something based off the Crystal Skulls. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you know what the Crystal Skulls are. They were in the Indiana Jones movie, after all. But in case you don't, the Crystal Skulls are human skull hardstone carvings made of clear or milky white quartz claimed to be pre-Columbian Mesoamerican artifacts by their alleged finders. And uh, so, you know, that can only mean one thing. Aliens. See, here's the thing is that people are like, ah, well... How can the Egyptian pyramids have been built when we can't even do it with some modern technology? It's clearly aliens when people remember, you know, like we have what St. Rupert's Drop is a really cool thing. Or St. Rupert, you know, Rupert's Drops, right? The little glass things. We, we can recreate them now. It's actually super cool. But for the longest time, we're like, how the fuck were these even made? Um, ancient Egypt was just on a different level. You know, uh, we rediscovered Roman concrete within the past couple years, right? You know, did did, Ro did did aliens build the concrete for the Roman Empire? There's my thinking about the Roman Empire for the day. <laughs> um, right, but did, did they, you know, aliens make the concrete? No, we just didn't know how to make it. We just lost the ability to make it. Now we know what it is again. Um yeah, no, but I mean, it, it, this is the issue that I run into with a lot of the paranormal and extraterrestrial communities is that sometimes they're super willing to go to a location or, or not, uh, sorry, not go to um, come to a conclusion and there could just be historical relevance that's being missed. That being said, in the Roman concrete case where we just rediscovered it in the past two years, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those things that like, okay, well, we know how to make it again, um, but it takes time to figure that out not everything is necessarily paranormal extraterrestrial and with you should try to you should try to beyond a reasonable doubt try to debunk anything that is mundane about anything can be easily or rationally explained etc i mean you know there are people would say that people are possessed or something in the past and clearly there's neurodivergent right i mean Science does come a long way, and things we currently can't explain may be able to be explained later. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just crystal skulls, but aliens, too. <laughs> there are now seven heads known to be in mankind's custody. Places varying from the Yucatan Peninsula in Central America, the British Museum piece, and one currently owned by a woman in the Southwest who claims that she had to finally put it in a closet Amazing. after he or she began speaking to her. Amazing. Uh, yes, of course. The British Museum. The Louvre. And Maria's closet in Plano, Texas. Currently, it resides between the unwashed. All right, Texas, you're cl you're claiming this. Texas, you are claiming this as a state now. It's because it's in the it's in the confines of Texas. <laughs> Laundry and the wrapping paper from last Christmas. Uh, just so everyone knows, let's break it down here. We're dealing with a man who uh, believes in just about everything that probably doesn't exist. You know, uh, ghosts, aliens, ectoplasm, gnomes. You could have just gnomes. seasonally been drinking out of a little crystal lawn gnome right now if the fates aligned. Oh man, can you imagine if Valve releases a crystal lawn gnome? Like, like they're gonna make steam vodka or whatever, and they just have the gnome Chomsky as the bottle? Hell yeah. The fucking supernatural slot machine with Dan Aykroyd. Did this man actually believe he was fighting real ghosts on Ghostbusters? Do you think he was in a documentary? Was Coneheads a documentary? Never seen it. Is Dan Aykroyd a ghost? I've seen Idiocracy, though. Idiocracy is 100% a documentary. 
Equally fascinating is that according to both physicists and jewelers, these heads should not exist, but should have shattered in the course of making them. Indeed, the Navajo believe they were... Don't you bring the Navajo into this. I guarantee you whatever they believe made ten times more sense than whatever this shit is. Hopefully this acceptance will lead to a less violent and more harmonious world as we respect the acceptance that there is more to life than mere material... So what does this have to do... Like, I understand the reason, the philosophy, the design logos that went into this, right? How's the fucking vodka? Reality. On that note, buy my vodka. Available at these retailers in your local metro area. Now, what to put in a bottle laden with such symbology and iconographic value? Moonshine. Just just take a tipsy bartender. You just gotta pour bottles of moonshine in there. Apparently moonshine is just what everything's based out of, according to a tipsy bartender. Like I like don't get me wrong, I like his videos. And then I just I see enough of them and I'm just like, why do these all just remind me of like frat house drinks? Like they're entertaining, don't get me wrong, and people clearly like the content. It's just like every time I see a tipsy bartender short, I'm like, Where's where's the moonshine? He's gonna bring that moonshine. And then he brings the moonshine and I have this big gotcha moment. Vodka. Vodka. Four minutes and 56 seconds. That's four <laughs> minutes and 56 seconds this man took to say the word vodka in this commercial about vodka. To tell you how we did achieve this, I'm going to turn you over now to my friend Phil Power of the Newfoundland Liquor Corporation, where we are manufacturing Crystal Head Vodka. Uh -huh. Listen, I do not know this man. I do not represent his vodka. All I know is one day he bursts in here. He, he just like this. He just goes, my vodka. I want my vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I, it just, I just did it to show you. If you know a way I can get out of this, contact my son Thomas at his web zone. Uh, he knows a lot more about computers than me. I really need a way out of this. <laughs> we chose Newfoundland because of the purity of their land and their water. Newfoundland is known in Canada as the Rock. And for good the reason. The Rock? Dwayne. I almost said Dwayne the Rock Johnson. There it is. It was the low-hanging fruit, wasn't it? It really was. Yeah, you got a point. It does look like Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> it's so far east, it's in its own time zone. It's located off the coast of Canada, about a thousand miles east of New York. Therefore, it is far away from most forms of pollution. Hey, what the hell are you trying to say about my city, man? New York is a beautiful, culturally rich metropolis. You just have to have eyes to see. And you know I've seen the videos of walking through Manhattan. Manhattan feels like it's an experience. What? I think I'll go for a leisurely stroll right now. Oh, please. Please do. <laughs> no way. What? This view, oh, I love it. What? What's going on with the air? What's going on with the air? <laughs> this is some sort of urban bird feeder? What? <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is great. <laughs> I've never been to New York. Oh man, this is good. This is great. What is this? Two guys from Minecraft fuck him? Did they not see that? Yeah. Does that know what beauty looks like? What is this? Hello? Can I how do I get home? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, can I have a swing of that? I hear something from my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Get the fuck away from me, you stupid hipster. <laughs> That's gotta be a. I mean, that's gotta be a skit with his buddy, right? No way. Oh, I, I tried. I tried. I did. Did you get it? I tried to make it look natural. I, I, I can't go back out there. Here's Phil to tell you more. In order to make Crystal Head Vodka, we use the purest alcohol available. It's not double distilled. It's not triple distilled. What? It's quadruple distilled. Square. I think I've had this conversation before. I vaguely remember this conversation. Now, I'm pretty sure I've had this conversation before asking about distilling. And I think after the second, it becomes incredibly negligible. This is, I'm vaguely remembering this conversation now. Weird and cute to the power of four. My God. It's too much distillation, guys. What are you crazy? You think the world's ready for this? We just got used to pop punk. Just when we thought we could not make Crystal Head Vodka any more pure, Dan came up with a suggestion. I don't like I don't like that as a statement. And then Dan came up with the suggestion. I don't I don't like that. I don't like where this is going. He proposed filtering it through diamonds. I turned to him and I said, Dan, <laughs> what the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. 
We triple filter the vodka through uh-huh. 500 million year old diamonds. Uh-huh. Diamonds? F- filtered through diamonds? What? I- this gets into the, the, the discussion about how the diamond industry is allegedly just a sham and how diamonds are just way too overpriced. I swear I've seen this at the store, and it was only like 50 bucks. Let me check. Yeah, it's uh, it's only like $49.99, $42.99. What, they, what do you mean they filter this through diamonds? All right, come on. If we're going for that absolute purity, is diamonds really the most valuable thing you can think of? I got one for you better. Okay, Dan, could you remind me? What's your net worth again? Oh, yeah. It's $135 million. Just huh. filter it through you, man. You're worth more than your weight in diamonds. Literally. And I'll prove it. So, your average person weighs about 62 kilograms. Okay. If Dan's anything but your average person, he weighs a nice and healthy 113 kilograms. Nice. Now, diamonds are made of pure carbon, and we know that the human body, by composition, is about 18.5% carbon. Right. There are 1,000 grams per kilogram, and there are five carats in a gram. Mm-hmm. So, run the numbers, and Danny boy, you're coming out to a whopping 104,525 carats. Now, if you search the going rates for diamonds, you'll find that a fourth carat diamond goes at cheapest for about $275. But we are, of course, dealing in carats here, so we've got to multiply that by four, and we get 418,100 quarter carats. Take those quarter carats, multiply them by their going rate of $275, and then you get your actual worth in diamonds. That is $114,977,500. I have no idea if this math is accurate or not. It it could just be a shit post, honestly. (laughs) Oh, my God. They're expensive. Yeah, I actually did it for real. What of it? As you can see, it's much bigger. And the process wouldn't be that hard either, I'm telling yeah. you. Just drip it right through you. Yeah. Don't worry, it's easy. I just, I'll just i show you. You just gotta... Is that a pickle? Find the... Oh, there she is. Beautiful. You just hang tight, you big hunk of man. <laughs> you don't lift a finger. You just sit tight and relax. Oh, don't worry about the handcuffs. They're not part of it. It's so Unless you want to be. <laughs> nah, I'm bullshitting you. It's so Hand weird. Handcuffs are absolutely part of it. <laughs> Bye-bye, impurities. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, I just see him dripping away. So weird. Oh, God, it's pure. It's so pure. It's so pure. <laughs> In order to make... His neighbors must love him. ...crystal head vodka, we take this water through 500 million year old crystals known as Herkimer diamonds. So wait a minute. Why do I get the feeling that a Herkimer diamond is different than an actual diamond. I feel like I'm about to get bait and switched. Wait a minute, they use some five million year old diamond called a Herkimer diamond? What's a Herkimer diamond? I've never heard of that before. Herkimer diamonds are not actually diamonds, oh my God. but are double terminated quartz crystals. You fucking what, mate? No, no fucking way. Crystals. I'm sure you're all familiar with that? If my quartz is single terminated, I'm out of here, bucko. So wouldn't that add impurities back in, though? Like, is, isn't distilling it only to run it through effectively quartz? Counterintuitive? Am I crazy? Am I, am I like... I don't know. I'm actually, I actually have a headache from this. Prepare to be double terminated. Filtration day. No one can explain why, but people who have tasted the vodka have noticed a difference. No one can explain why, huh? No one can explain why. It's just better. Can anyone here explain anything? We are confident that people will enjoy Crystal Head, Triple Herkimer Diamond Filtered Newfoundland Deep Aquifer Pure Spirit Vodka. Combo, huh. combo. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Perfect as a lone shot. Whether you wish to explore and discuss the mystical implications of your life on this amazing plane of existence or not, the truth is that this is a luxury vodka in a cool bottle. Yeah. (laughs) You went through all that. You said all that nonsense, recited all those complex words beautifully, and then two seconds before the thing ends, you describe it as a cool bottle. Cool. Cool. Thank you. The cool bottle. Yeah. 
So I would normally end this video here, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't end here. Does this it is a not? man who really wanted to sell some vodka. So at some point, Dan went all over national television trying to shill his product. And, uh, you know, he's getting invited on because they think they're going to sit down and have a chat with Mr. Ghostbuster. A little Someone in chat says basically how uh, champagne is only champagne. It's from the champagne region of France. Is that like how most cinnamon is fake cinnamon or most saffron is fake saffron? Yeah, this whole world. <laughs> There's so many things that are just bait and switches. That's great. So they know uh, they're going to have a couple laughs with a cone head. Huh. Dan, you're a matter. smart dude. How'd you get so smart? I surround myself with people who are far more knowledgeable than I am in these things. The bottle told us what to put in the in, in it. The bottle speaks of the... the products have glyceride, right? It's a cousin to glycol. Glycol is a cousin of glyceride, and glycol is antifreeze. Oil, I vaguely remember having this conversation with my sister now about glycol. It was antifreeze, right? Something like that. I, I remember having an absolute like hour long discussion on just that. The call and raw sugar. We took them out of the vodka. You are a great a salesman. Now the tough thing about selling this, it's a little pricey. This is what about fifty bucks a bottle? Is that right? Oh. For Mr. Ackroyd, the new business vodka and his crystal head vodka brand is from laughs to liquor. That's what they're gonna go with. <laughs> that's, not, that's not usually a good thing. Why do you want to go into vodka if it's owned by so many dominant brands? And what we have here is a luxury premium spirit that has no additives. Many. This is the. This is <laughs> no fucking way. Do you know what that was? That is the... And what we have here is a luxury premium spirit that has no... That is... I have asked my question. I'm now going to have to wait five minutes to respond. Oh, my God. Additives. Many this, is the, this is the exact moment the host starts to realize, oh, dear. I, I, th I think I might be in for something. <laughs> Many lesser vodkas add glycol, which is... Just, a just let him cook. Just let, just let Dan go. Like, he'll tire himself out eventually. <laughs> he'll just talk for so long. <laughs> it's like when a dog just keeps running around <laughs> you just let it tire itself out <laughs> antifreeze they add caustic bug exterminant and they also add sugar they got all sorts of chemicals bug poison and sugar, sugar. nobody asked you if there was glycol or citrus oil that's what people are getting worried when you bring it up <laughs> uh, when you open a lot of lesser that. vodkas if you open them up they smell like chanel number no. five you, you open they them do. up thank you do. and thank ours you. smells like I've never Never smelt Chanel number no. five. Like, I'm aware of the makeup industry. I'm aware of, I'm more aware of the makeup industry. And actually, unironically, the dominance of South Korean brands in the makeup industry um, than I am the uh, cologne and perfume industry. That's actually an industry I haven't put research into. That might be a fun re uh, React project one day. To open a vodka, I thought it smells like Chanel number no. five. What the fuck is Chanel number no. five? Is it a perfume? The perfume. I never thought that a fucking vodka smelled like a pro. What kind of vodka are you drinking? Dan, Don't worry it's about not it. exactly original. Many celebrities have launched alcohol brands. Some of your colleagues. Hey, is that the trash, man? I didn't know Danny DeVito had his own alcohol. The fuck? Lemon cello. Lemon look. Oh my God. I might actually see if I could find that. That. That sounds like a trash man party right there. Half a bottle of lemon cello in. Hop on Titanfall 2. You're hearing everybody everybody just say the most stupid things. Censoring myself stupid things. Oh, man. The, the trash man himself. Oh, my God. I have a running gag in Pokemon games where I'll name every muck I get Danny DeVito or DeVito. I love that, man. Here, Wait, I'm what? Sure. Okay, I didn't talk to that. Those are real. These are real vodkas by celebrities. Pharrell has cream. Vodka-based cream liquor. Looks like an onion. That sounds Willie like Nelson's it'd be good. Old whiskey river Never bread. really heard enough of Willie Nelson to really have an opinion. I mean, as far as I'm aware, he's legit. Legit dude. Bourbon. The bourbon. And of course, Danny DeVito with the lemon cello. <laughs> Who could forget? <laughs> Who could remember? I probably passed it up on the aisle thinking it was freaking juice. I mean, that's the best thing Danny DeVito can come up with, lemon cello. I mean, straight up, if Danny DeVito made a liquor with his head... As the bottle. Can you imagine how many of us would buy a Danny DeVito head shaped bottle? Man, like you could charge like a hundred USD for that today, and people would buy that so quick. I'm there every time. Every time. I won't drink anything else. Danny <laughs> fucking make it. Alright, now this one he goes on Larry King. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Isn't our feature? Oh, yeah. Larry King passed actually this year, didn't he? 2023. Oh. Time has time sucks.
I'm featured in it is Dan Aykroyd. All right, tell me about uh, the head. Now, who came up with this skull? The bottle? Now, what the hell is this? My daughter tried to explain <laughs> to me. I still don't get it. This, you like this. This is clean vodka. This has no glycol. A lot of lesser vodka. <laughs> what the fuck? This face. What the fuck is this face? This, you like this. This is clean vodka. This has no glycol. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody please make a meme out of that. Somebody please take the still and make a meme out of that. This is a this is one of those meme faces you'll see. Like you know how John has his meme faces? There this there's there's potential in here for meme face. Like that is that's the next meme, right? 2023 next meme. A lot of left <laughs> the face. Don't look the look in Larry King's eye. That is a real captured on camera double take from Larry King. As soon as, as, soon as Dan brings up the yeah. glycol, he's like, glycol, should it not have had glycol? What's glycol? Luster vodkas have antifreeze glycol in them. They put them in there for smoothness. See, he waited. He waited. It was like, he, wait. <laughs> he waited for Dan to go first. He's a smart man, that Larry King. Now I know why he survived for so long. Yeah. yeah very nice. Yeah. There's no, oh boy. Start of the ruination. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying, man. You've killed me. It's over. I wish you put glycol in this because I can feel my bones melting. Jesus. So we have just won in Moscow. We won the double. Oh, he passed away 2021. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't this year. It was 2021. Man, the last three years have been a blur. Sorry for that. Yes, yeah, so it was 2021. He is unfortunately no longer with us. Gold medal for taste over 400 <laughs> other vodkas for excellent taste. If Russians don't know gold medal... <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Check, give, me, give me a second. <laughs> that, you, yo, you're fucking serious. <laughs> for taste over 400 other vodkas for excellent taste. If Russians don't know superior vodka... <laughs> What do they know? Sputnik? Nuclear armaments? If we were entering a nuke contest and we won there, that's a good nuke. Well, apparently it won in Russia, but you can't buy it anywhere in Moscow. It's not on the... Huh. I'm sure there was some kind of maybe, like, independent, like, contest or something. I don't know. Right. Maybe those Russians were just being polite. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, going for round two. That I respect. All right, Larry King? Daring. Going where no TV host has dared to go before. I think Look, all I'm saying in my experience accepting random alcohol from strangers at SCA, I learned that they're like cherry cordial. That fucked me up. It was so good, though. God, I could drink a whole bottle of that. And I don't say that about alcohol because I can taste the alcohol in a lot of things. God, that cherry cordial was built different, though. That was dangerous. At the end of the day, Larry King was just happy he can get out of there without telling Dan Aykroyd his vodka tastes like shit. But it actually is pretty good. Oh, oh boy. boy. Start of the Awful. It's such a strange product. How could I have not seen it before? How could I have been so careless and stupid? Now that I'm looking at it in this light, I think I'm beginning to see the truth. New York, LA, London. Oh my God, there's crystal skulls everywhere. How could we have been so blind? There's none in Moscow, though, where you said you won the award, but, oh, well, they're Russian. Who cares? <laughs> and the conspiracy deepens. I can't find a single crystal skull in all of South America right now. Caracas, Bogota, San Salvador, Belize City. You know, like, where the whole thing's supposed to be from <laughs> in the first place? Cool. Blimey. There it is. Rio de Janeiro. hidden crystal skull in all of South America. Located within a 100-kilometer yeah. radius of Rio de Janeiro. I finally found it. Is it true? Do you possess the Crystal Skull Vodka? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope it helps bring out the Crystal Skull that I know is deep down inside each and every one of you. Yeah. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out to the amazing people over at Honey for sponsoring this video and helping to make it a possibility. If you don't know what Honey is, it's a free browser extension that automatically finds the best promo codes from around the internet and makes sure you get the best possible price whenever you shop online. Yeah. It really is that f***ing simple. I don't know too much about Honey. I haven't used it. Like so, you go to my super special I've heard it potentially has issues. Honey.com slash Jontron. That's a sexy URL. 
Then you just click Add Honey, click Add again to add the extension to your browser, and you're done. You got it. Here's some footage of me using it for actual real. Uh, this is true, I had to buy a new computer for the office, so I got the order ready, got it in the cart. Kinda hot. Honey pops up in the corner and tells me it's found some coupons. So I click it and wham, bam, there it goes. Costco sells gaming PCs now. I've been debating on getting a second rig for processing. Goes off to the races. Like literal magic, it automatically applies all the codes from around the web till it's found me the best possible price I can get. It saved me $82.45 on this transaction. It it's really not bad. works. There's literally no good reason not to add Honey to your really browser not. today. So if you want to save money whenever you shop online, go grab Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jontron. Yeah, no, I went into Costco the other day and they have like Xbox One X's. Sorry, Xbox Series X's. They have PS5's. They have like... This is a 32. They have like 60 inch uh, widescreen like computer monitors. They have gaming PCs. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Once again, that's joinhoney.com slash Jontron. Costco's interesting. It's a weird place. Hey, we got an awesome new collection of the latest Jontron fashion over at represent.com. So either click that link right there on the screen or the one in the description to check them out. And maybe even buy them. If you're crazy <laughs> enough to be that cool. Ain't that right, Fluxy? Looking good. Try to start some. <laughs> oh man, that was. Oh boy, that was quite the uh, adventure Dan Aykroyd has led us through, and by extension, John as well. Have you had the Crystal Skull vodka? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, do you have any further insight on the process of allegedly triple distilling it through? Uh, not diamond, Herkimer diamonds, and uh, is there anything that is potentially uh, not not the case? Like, uh, like is it is it more? <laughs> did they purify it just to put impurities back in it? Uh, let me know. Um, let me know. What about your thoughts on Costco? What what strange things have you found at Costco? I don't know. <laughs> it's been great. And make sure you keep all the comments civil, respectful, all that fun stuff. And I will make sure to see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.